Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another daily devotion. This one is being prepared for March 31st of 2022, and that is a Thursday morning. Um, this one is also going to be covering Matthew Gospel 8, verses 28 to 34, which will get us to the end of chapter 8 in Matthew's Gospel. So tomorrow, Friday, we'll start 9. So, but at any rate, we are talking about Jesus healing the garrison demoniac plural. Um, this is another story that is in all three of the synoptics, Mark, Matthew, and Luke. Um, Matthew, though, for some reason, decides to give us two demoniacs here at Gerasene, uh, rather than just the singular demoniac that we have in Mark and Luke. Some try to reconcile that, and for whatever reason, saying that there really were two, and he, Mark and Luke only talked about one. Well, I don't know. I don't really care. It is the same incident, though, because we have the story of the pigs in all three. And it would be really unlikely we'd end up with having that many pigs run to their death over the cliffs. If so, Jesus was probably pretty unpopular among the Gentile crowd because this is taking place in Gentile territory. We know that because they've got a herd of pigs there, um, a whole lot of pigs. And um, they wouldn't have a whole lot of pigs hanging out in the Jewish communities. Trust me on that one. So, let's jump into chapter 8, verses 28 to 34. When he came to the other side, to the country of the Gerondines, two demoniacs coming out of the temples met him. They were so fierce that no one could pass that way. Suddenly they shouted, What have you to do with us, son of God? Have you come here to torment us before the time? Now a large herd of swine was feeding at some distance from them. The demons begged him, If you cast us out, send us into the herd of swine. And he said to them, Go! So they came out and entered the swine, and suddenly the whole herd rushed down the steep bank into the sea and perished in the water. The swine herds ran off, and going into the town, they told the whole story about what had happened to the de de demoniacs. Then the whole town came out to meet Jesus, and when they saw him, they begged him to leave their neighborhood. Yeah, get out of here because you're killing our pigs off, and we don't really like that. That's our livelihood. That's our food source. Um, so, yes, you can see why they would be like, please leave, Jesus. Um, which is not really a part of the story, other than that people just don't understand who Jesus is. It's more of the not understanding. That's what that really gets at, I think. Uh, again, this is, we have two here, whereas in Luke and Mark, we have one. Um, I would probably say Mark's earlier. One is probably, for whatever reason, Mark Matthew, rather, decided to change it to two from Mark's one. Luke left it the same. Mark is earlier. So, therefore, we would generally default to Mark over the Matthew and Luke who would be using Mark as well as Q. But let's not belabor that point because, again, to me, it makes no difference. I don't, I don't see that it changes the story having one or two. Um, and the point here, though, is we have these demons. Now, in this gospel story, in this telling of it, Jesus doesn't dialogue with them. He doesn't say, you know, who are you and we are legions. Then there's no legions here. It doesn't say that. There's just two demoniac. Maybe that's why he didn't want to ask the name, but he wanted to make sure that you understood that there's lots of demons here. There's lots of demons, more demons in, in the others where it's legion. Legion is a lot. Um, Jesus simply says in this and this, all he says is the one word, go, be gone. And they've been be gone. This go, go. And they go to the pigs. Um, why would they want to go into the pigs? Well, there's some symbolism there, I think. And there is a, and there is a, in a way, a story there for us. Um, first of all, these obviously are not nice demons. The, the They're not good Jewish demons, are they? <laughs> How do you have a good demon? They're not Jewish demons because they don't want to go. They're going to go into the pigs. They're, they're unclean. They're going to go. The unclean are going to go the unclean. That's how awful these demons are. That they would choose a pig of all things to want to be put into. Um, so that this is speaks to how awful they are. Now, in my life, I've not fortunately pray. I've not encountered anyone that was a demon possessed. Um, our pastor that we had in Omaha for a while at Sunset Hills Baptist, uh, Mark Stevens, um, he had in, <laughs> been involved in some demonic possessions. 
Uh, I've talked to people that claim to have had demonic, um, been, in, been involved in demonic things um, as far as possessions. And Mark, Mark he was there for some exorcisms and some things. Uh, had some crazy stories, crazy stories um, about some things. Um, that they had someone that claimed to be demonic, demon possessed that he encountered when he was, I believe, in seminary was when that was. Um, but at any rate, fortunately, I've not had to encounter encounter that. Don't really can, don't really relish the idea of encountering it. Um, so, but this is how bad these guys are. These these dudes are bad demons. They want to go into the the herd. What do we walk out of this? Since we don't normally encounter demons on a day to day basis, what do we see from this? Well, here it's thought that the demons and the pigs it represents those that are that just don't want to submit. They're not about to come over to God. They realize that there is a God, but they are, for whatever reason, they decide they would rather be into these unclean beasts than, than to get into the right way with God. Um, and I think that speaks to people. We see people that should know better and just keep living a life of filth. Um, we, we, we have this problem in the community uh, or in the world um, that people just don't want to get right with God, reconcile. My sermon today was about being reconciled to God. Um, I'm recording this on Sunday of the, 20, the 27th. Um, but they just don't want to do it. Um, C.S. Lewis's famous quote that I've quoted many times is that the gates of hell are locked from the inside. We don't want, nope, not going to do it, and refuse to truly let be, be healed and cleaned. Um, that's what these demons are doing. They refuse to be helped. Um, so much so, nope, not going to do it. Put us into the most unclean beast there is. And by the way, we're now just going to commit Harry Carey and run off the cliff. Um, and that, that's self-destruction. Lots and lots of self-destruction in the world. Um, lots and lots of self-destruction in the world. Willful self-destruction. That's what this is speaking of. That's what we're encountering. What could that possibly be but demonic? I don't know. I'll leave you with that thought. God bless you. Have a blessed day. And we will be back tomorrow to start chapter 9. Have a blessed day. We'll see you later. Bye-bye. And be a blessing to someone today. Almost forgot that part. Oh, my word. Bye-bye.